Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're back with some more LCS, Professional League of Legends, stories, news, coverage, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we're talking about a Reddit post that's kind of blown up recently. This was from a Vietnamese article that was kind of translated over to English and then they picked some of the best quotes and highlights out of it and stuff. Um, but pretty much Sovum, the uh, jungler for Sooning Gaming, we just saw him playing in the World Finals. He pulled out that tank Rangar. He was disgusting. He had a very, very good year in both the LPL and at Worlds. He's really just a world class jungler he had this quote that said i tried to contact tsm after leaving lng at the beginning of 2020 but couldn't get in touch with them maybe i will join join sword art making a move to na to retire in the future so a couple of key things there one at the beginning of 2020, obviously, Sovum tried to join TSM, which that's a crazy story right there. Um, I don't know why he wasn't able to get in contact with them or what happened, if TSM wasn't interested or if they just didn't have the right connections or if it was too late or exactly how that worked. But that's pretty crazy to envision a, a universe where Sovum was on TSM last year. That team could have been really, really sick. And then obviously we see Sword Art coming over now. It's um, so like this top comment says, there's a universe where TSM's roster this year could have been Impact, Sovum, Bjergsen, Doublelift, and Sword Art. Now, I don't know if that's actually realistic because... TSM doesn't have a ton of money, or even if they have a ton of money, they're not willing to spend a ton of money. Um, we know Impact was already super expensive. We know for a fact Sword Art was super expensive, the $6 million support. Um, I'm sure some of them would have been just as, uh, you know, probably really, really expensive as well. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting, pretty crazy. I, I thought this was weird because we've heard so much about tsm maybe uh, struggling to be able to get imports people don't want to come play for tsm anymore um that's why they can't really get people over like i know there's like veteran and eu saying that or whatever um but i think this is a good sign that people were still interested and are still interested in coming over to tsm obviously we saw sword art coming over um and then sovum as well these were both guys that were playing on suiting gaming they were just playing in the world final um and i think that sheds a good light on na and tsm in general the one thing it is a little worrisome is whether it's a joke or not uh making the move to na to retire in the future um i'm sure that was a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek joke but obviously people do have that point of view of north america being the retirement league and blah 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 but I think if NA has a good year this year, they can hopefully start to kind of shed some of those things away because we do have a lot of imports coming over this year, Alfari, Perk, Sword Art. Um, and if these guys are able to have very, very good years, help NA do well, maybe get a team or two out of groups this year, I think we can kind of start to get rid of that retirement place um, kind of whatever moniker, whatever you want to call it, that people have for NA, the flame that NA gets. Um, and then NA can just become a place that pays you a lot of money and you can still have a decent chance of, of doing well domestically, becoming a huge brand, a huge name, and then maybe even having a shot at doing well at Worlds too. I think that'd be crazy. Obviously, that'd be awesome. Um, but it is at least a good sign that free agents are still interested in coming over here. Um, but yeah, also the fact that he's saying he could come to NA in the future still. He's still open to it and open to considering it which is still a really, really cool sign. Whether it's TSM or not, whether he comes to another team, I think that could be um, really awesome. And I'm sure that gets some other teams excited. I'm sure, you know, Liquid Steve is is listening in on this, hearing these these rumors and these articles and stuff, and, and he's uh, thinking about this. Um, and some other teams in NA as well. I know Evil Geniuses has a lot of money to throw around. 100 Thieves seems like they're uh, pretty big spenders as well. So maybe we could see some of them, you know, come into NA in the next couple of years, and that'd be really, really hype because obviously he is a very, very world-class jungler, very exciting talent, fun to watch guy, um, and he's very good. Um, I also thought that this joke, uh, the post right here, really funny, talking about this roster of Impact, Sovum, uh, Bjergsen, Doublelift, and Sword Art, saying first round exit. Um, yeah, that, that team still wouldn't be able to get out of groups. Funny stuff like that. Um, they say, imagine this this, uh, this at Worlds. TSM's up 3-0. They've smashed every team they've come up against. For once, NA looks like the scariest region. Sovum and Sword Art smile as they go into game four. Bjerg and Doublelift look at each other. Uh, give me Senna, give me Zillion, and then they just like int and lose the games, and TSM ends up, TSM ends up 3-3, and they lose in the tiebreaker, just like TSM fashion, just like NA fashion, um, I, I, don't know, I just love the, the jokes in this Reddit thread, um, but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys, I just want to get this news out to you, the fact that Sovum was interested in joining TSM, possibly could have even, like, I don't, again, I don't know exactly how close any of this stuff got, it sounds like they really didn't even get in touch or in contact or anything, um, but the opportunity was there and the opportunity still is there going forward for whether it's TSM or another North American team. Obviously, TSM seems like they're in a pretty good position with Spica right now. They're really excited for uh, having a young talent building towards the future. And he looks like he could be a potential superstar um, in the next year or two. Uh, but if he doesn't work out, you know, maybe some of them's out there on the table uh, for TSM in the future. That would be really, really exciting. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What team would you like to see some of them on in NA? Do you think you should go to TSM or a different roster entirely? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to update on the latest content. Check me out over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.
Peace.